Welcome back for part two, where I'm going to show you guys how to get this to sync. So what does that mean? So let's go in here and let's say I want to add some more cities to this. So let's say we want Frankfurt, Germany and oh, let's say Amsterdam. And let's say Munich, Germany. And um, just so that we'll be easily able to tell that this worked. I'm going to make these large purple. So I've, I've made changes in here and now I go to refresh and all right, I, I don't see anything over Frankfurt and Munich. So basically what we have to do is create a macro. So if you go back to your well, first, um, if you go to File, and then About This Table, you can get this Table ID, and we're going to copy that. And now, here's the code, which I, I'll post this. Um, but wait, basically, the only thing you have to change with the code is go into here, the Table ID, and erase that, and then paste the new one. All right, so now we can copy that code. We'll be using that in a second, so just get that on your clipboard. So now we're gonna go back to our Fusion table, or our um, Google Sheet, and we're gonna go to Tools, Script Editor. So this is, this is kind of like a uh, VBA macro, just the Google version, and I'm just gonna call it Sync. So we're gonna erase all that, and then paste our code. And now, um, let's save it. So now we're gonna go into resources and current project triggers, and we wanna set one up so that from the spreadsheet on edit, it's going to update um, the fusion table. And then we're gonna have to, let's see, allow our permissions and now we have to go to advanced Google services and scroll down to fusion tables. We need to enable that. And then they must also be enabled in the Google developers console. So we're going to go there. Once that loads, we're going to hit this search. Let's go to fusion tables. And then we're just going to enable and it should ask us Okay, so that's enabled. That's all good. Exit out of that, we hit OK. Save again. And then we're gonna run. And allow more permissions. All right, so now we should be all set. I'll just wait for that to, okay. So as in summary, we've made these three changes. And so when I go back to the fusion table and I hit done, and now it's going to get those. And uh, if, if it doesn't get those immediately, you can just refresh. And now, now we can see those three other cities. So now it is syncing. Um, and we can make however many more rows of data that we want. Um, I'm not really sure why they didn't build this functionality into the fusion tables to begin with, but uh, with that pretty simple tutorial, we're able to do it. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll post the code so you guys can get on your way with it. Thanks.